Today, I would like to talk about the results of a potassium rate study that was conducted in 2016. Um, potassium deficiency shows up a lot in Alabama. And our thoughts were because of the new cotton cultivars that seem to fruit faster and yield more than some of the older varieties that our recommendations were tested on. Um, it'd be a good idea for us to go back and look at some different potassium rates uh, just to see if we can increase yields by increasing our potassium. This study was conducted at five locations in 2016. Um, we soil sampled each location and if the soil sample was in the medium or low range, uh, we added 60 pounds of additional potassium uh, to the base soil test rate. So for Brayton and Fairhope, we used 120 pounds per acre. For Apple, 40 pounds. Tedlin, 140 pounds. And Tallahassee, we used 100 pounds. These are the Lent yields for four locations. Uh, we only had the seed cotton yield in Tallahassee. But as you can see, uh, Fairhope was the only location that we had a significant difference. The 2x soil test rate yielded about 200 pounds more of lint cotton uh, than the soil test rate. All other locations, we had numerical differences, but they were not significant differences. For our fiber quality by treatment, the 2x soil test rate had significantly better strength and uniformity than the other treatments. For our fiber quality by variety, the Phytogen 444 was significantly better uh, than the Delta Pine 1646. The Phytogen 444 also had a higher percent petiole K than the Delta Pine 1646. We also took visual leaf spot ratings um, because we believe a lot of the leaf spots we see in cotton during the summer are related to potassium deficiency. And as you can see, with the higher amount of potassium applied to each plot, the lower our leaf spot ratings were. This is a picture from Fairhope taken July 28th, and the half rate soil test recommendation already had potassium deficiency showing up, while the 2x rate at least uh, looked great. This is a, an example of some of the early defoliation we saw in the low K plots down in Fairhope. So in summary, Fairhope was the only location with significant yield differences. The 2X and the 2X rate split were the best treatments. Um, the 2X rate actually yielded higher than the 2X rate split, and that may be because on the sandy soils, the potassium ran out um, and wasn't really available to the plant. Um, so in Fairhope, on the sandy soils, uh, we definitely made uh, more money by putting out more potassium than just the soil test rate. The Phytogen 444 had significantly higher petiole percent K in fiber quality than the Delta Pine 1646. However, the 1646 did out yield the 444 in all treatments, but it was not significantly higher. And I appreciate the Cotton Commission for funding this study and thanks to Troy for analyzing the data.